The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. As a visiting guest of honor in Nigeria for several commemorative occasions, South African President Jacob Zuma meets with President Goodluck Jonathan. The two leaders agree on the importance of unity in carrying out African Union initiatives to increase peace and stability across the continent. Press TV reports that South Korea's new unification minister, Yoo Buik, is seeking improved relations with North Korea through efforts that include meetings with dignitaries of other countries such as Germany, where reunification success has been achieved. Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov of Russia and his counterpart Radoslav Tsiolkovsky of Poland sign an agreement allowing visa-free travel between Russia's Kaliningrad region and shared border regions of Poland. British Prime Minister David Cameron pledges to review alcohol prices in response to a letter published by the Daily Telegraph from 19 of the UK's top doctors and academics asking the government to limit the affordability of alcohol in an effort to reduce its harmful effects and save lives. Prince Latina reports that a group of Venezuelan youths are completing a run through 12 South American capitals in efforts to send a message of unity among these countries, with plans to extend their activities to Central America and the Caribbean in 2012. Based on concern for continued instability in Yemen, the European Commission donates an additional 5 million euros, bringing its 2011 total to 25 million euros contributed to provide humanitarian aid to vulnerable Yemeni residents, as well as some 220,000 people seeking refuge from Horn of Africa countries. Finance ministers from Chile, Colombia, Mexico, Peru and Uruguay convene in an effort to ensure that their countries are shielded from global economic instabilities. They agree on measures to encourage economic growth in their respective countries. Following an accident in which his car overturned on an embankment, leaving his mom trapped inside. Six-year-old Aaron Wright of New York, USA, climbed out of the vehicle and ran to alert help for her rescue and treatment of what thankfully turned out to be minor injuries. 